guys, welcome to another episode of Mahjong Talk. I'm your host, Peter Bong. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of my latest videos. Okay, so I guess you guys noticed that this is a different setup that uh, I have made. Because uh, usually you guys are used to me having a different type of, I guess, screen setup. But I decided to change it up a bit because uh, since I started streaming on Twitch, I basically just rearranged some things a bit. So... It's not going to be too, too different, um, but yeah, and there are going to be more changes around the way because thanks to you guys, I've improved not only my Twitch content, but also a little bit of my creative content as well. So I'm going to provide a little bit more stuff for you guys, uh, mainly on Twitch, but yeah, uh, I'm going to also make a little bit of an announcement at the end of this video. So uh, let's just get started. The Secret Coffee Run event is still going on. You have like two days left. Uh, today, the time I'm recording this, it's uh, June 5th. You have until the 7th to basically collect your rewards. So, as you can see, I'm basically just one more away uh, from completing the event. So, that's enough talk. So, let's just uh, get into the event, shall we? Uh, East King? So, yeah. So, today, I want to talk to you guys about a great horizon. Or, or in this case, your Great Horizon. What do I mean by that? The Great Horizon for you guys is probably going to be different from mine. So it could be like your long-term goals or things that you want to achieve in your lifetime before you actually, you know, move on to the great beyond or heaven or whatever it is you believe in. And the thing of it is, is that you, you guys that have, have at least watched the channel for a long while, you guys know that I'm really into meaning finding the meaning of your life and the thing of it is is that people have different definitions of what they want to achieve in their life some want to pr actually build a family you know build that same cooker cutter life that people in society want to have like build a fit get a good job build a family and then retire and do whatever it is they want to do uh, uh, but you guys know that I'm not all about that I'm basically just I'm all about basically building your uh, life on your own terms so that it fits better with the criteria that you have set up for yourself So the thing of it is is that for me, I'm actually trying to plan out uh, Like everything for myself so I can take a year sabbatical so that way, you know, I can basically take a break from like working uh, The job that I'm currently at so that I can transition into doing more content creation for you guys, as well as like do stuff for myself to basically build and grow myself, such as like, you know, learning more Japanese, learning more math, learning more physics. So I don't have to worry about a full time job, like basically just bombarding me with just like, like kind of like taking my time away. Now, it's going to be tough for me because like, you know, like I'm a factory worker, so I'm not an office worker, so I'm, I don't have like a big, huge salary. But at the same time, I, I'm trying to believe myself that I can do this. And, you know, you guys probably have pursuits that you've been putting off for a while. And, you know, so, like, my plan is, like, before I'm the age of 35, to actually get to a, a yearly sabbatical. Because I know if I pass the age of 40, I'm not going to do it. Now, the thing of it is, is that I don't know what uh, planning I have to do. But I'm trying to find ways to actually, like go about to progress towards a yearly sabbatical um, because uh, it's not easy to plan out a year sabbatical because like in the United States it's kind of looked down upon as sort of like uh, like you know you being lazy and all that stuff or you taking extended vacation but at the same time I feel like we humans really need it so for me like I've been privileged to be able to still live with my parents, save up a lot of money. Well, not a lot of money, but a decent amount of money that I can survive for, for a couple months. And the thing is, is that when I thought about planning this out... Uh, is that up? Okay, it's not on me. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, wow, manga. Yeah, so the thing of it is, is that like I feel like this is very... A pivotal moment for me because like I'm already at my 30s and I feel like if I don't take this opportunity now I won't be able to take it again uh, so like the benefit of me living with my parents and being able to provide uh, this opportunity for myself I can't pass that up and so for me I feel like I have to take this opportunity to actually 
help grow myself. Uh, whoops, I meant to discard this. Oh well, I make mistakes on this uh, on this channel a couple times, guys. So you guys are probably used to it by now. <laughs> um, but all in all, guys, whatever like life you see for yourself or the life that you really want to achieve, you still have time to achieve it. And the thing of it is, is that the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I'm scared too. Like I'm scared to actually make a big, big transition that probably people would not understand that I'm doing, such as, um, like, I don't know if I'm going to achieve this goal. In fact, I'm kind of like worried about telling you guys this, but at the same time, I feel like if I don't, then maybe I'm not going to. I feel like I'm not going to put responsibility on myself to actually try to achieve this. So it's a big thing for me, but also like it might feel the same way for you, for you guys, whatever pursuit you're trying to do. Like say you you want to be an artist and you really want to put your art out there, but like say factors like whether it be the people that you're around, such as your friends, your family, they basically are telling you, no, that's not going to make money. That's not going to get you a happy life. It's not going to get you a stable life. What are you doing? But at the same time, when you actually look at a full-time job, you're relying on a, like, at least in the States, we rely on companies to basically provide us a paycheck, provide us, uh, and with that paycheck, it provides us a stable living, such as like living in a house and like providing for a family and all that stuff. It's like basically dangling a fruit, like the, it's basically dangling like a fruit in front of you to say like, oh, you're not going to be happy unless you have this. So the thing of it is, is that like in like at least in the United States, when 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 we basically into jobs, we have to rely on the job to provide not only our paycheck but also our health insurance, as well as our dental and our eye, uh, our our, our eye health care. And the thing of it is, is that when you're young, you feel like you kind of don't want to spend too much money on your own on your own health because you feel like you're young enough to actually know how to take care of your body so the reason why i came to the decision to actually try to pursue a yearly sabbatical is because i really want to be able to take care of myself mentally because i think a lot of us are kind of like struggling with mental health when it comes to like putting ourselves too much in our own jobs because of our responsibilities but we really want to be able to have that chance to explore and to be able to find that inner creativity with ourselves because when we get into jobs we do more producing but we don't do enough inner creativity to uh to give ourselves a sense of how should i say a sense of imagination like it doesn't allow us to connect with our inner imagination so the reason why i'm planning to take a sabbatical is because i want to reconnect with that uh with the imagination that I've lost. This is really crazy, guys. I don't even know what this person's waiting for at this point. I guess I have to play defensively at this point. But yeah, and the thing of it is, guys, like, the reason why it's important, uh, no. no. Gotta pay everybody now. At least I'm in third place so far. Yeah, and you guys, like, the only one that uh, you guys know best is yourselves. So... I know that probably some of you guys that are basically like, well, I'm not privileged like you to basically take a year sabbatical, but it doesn't hurt to actually try to work up to that point because the thing of it is, is that, you know, life is uncertain and sometimes life is unfair at times, but at the same time, I do believe in you guys that you guys will be able to achieve, oh, you guys will be able to achieve whatever it is that you focus your mind to because I do believe in an abundant mindset. Because I believe there are opportunities for everybody to better their life in some way. 
the thing of it is is that the hard work is basically trying to look for it when you actually look for it and find it that's when it becomes rewarding because uh you guys like the reason why i make content for you guys is to make sure you guys get your own uh your regular dose of positive vibes in the morning and not only that i also want to make sure you guys are able to find that inner hope within yourself to basically create the strength to go forward with your goals and sometimes people think that their goals are very lofty and they don't they won't give them a living but those goals are what make you alive and the last thing that anybody wants to do is live a life that's hollow and doesn't mean anything can see potential with this hand I just gotta basically build it right and the thing of it is excuse me <laughs> pardon me uh, yeah like you guys are responsible for your own health and because of like you know stress when it comes to like certain jobs like you basically like some people are working three jobs and you know many people just, and people will get tired eventually so what is your great horizon if you're working so many jobs? And I guess the answer for me is like, I I really can't give you an answer for that because every person's life has a different path. And the thing is, I know you guys will be able to find the path that's right for you despite, despite the, uh, the, the situation you guys are in. Because I sometimes wonder exactly like, what kind, how can I give you guys hope? And I guess the only way I can tell you guys this is that life is unpredictable. And when life is unpredictable, it can work in both ways. It's unpredictable in a positive sense, as well as a, as well as a negative sense. And sometimes you have to take risks that people wouldn't even think of doing. Which is not a bad thing, but at the same time, like, you also have to be aware that, you know, some risks are worth taking and some risks are not. If it goes against your principles and basically you would say no to it if you had the money and the ability to deny such a... Uh, deny such an opportunity and it goes against your moral compass, then I would say, like, don't do it. But if it's... If all the signals in your, in your soul and in your mind basically tell you yes, you would still take that opportunity even though there's a greater risk and it still supports your moral compass why not say yes I have to wait for like uh, a four or a one, which is going to be tough because I want to keep these ones. Oh, and that's the last one, which means I'm stuck. I'm a bit stuck now because like uh, they already dished out all the ones. So now my best bet, if I'm not uh, waiting if I'm not waiting for one tile then I'm going to have to give them up eventually <laughs> But the thing is, guys, I've known people that basically, like, put their all into a, a career path that they really, really wanted to do. And, you know, they just kept going forward with it. But you have to fail. Every Like, 
making your life the way you want it, you're always going to fail. But you're also going to learn from those failures. And sometimes when we worry about failing, we're worried about failing big that basically makes us look bad or makes people say, see, see, see what I tell you. <laughs> and you know, it's like I've made content for you guys because I want to provide you with a voice that basically says no. Like you just tried something and it just failed. But at the same time, it's not uh, your fault for feeling the impact of that failure. Because, like, everything in life hurts at first, like, if you fail and basically, like, you feel the impact of people, like, talking down on you because of that failure. At the same time, I also want to provide you guys with a voice that basically say, hey, you tried something that nobody else dared to try and you weren't afraid. And, yeah, you failed, but at the same time, like, you're stronger than probably any of us for actually trying to do something that kind of, like, put you at risk at times. Because that's what life is all about sometimes. It's just basically just taking a plunge and seeing where you're going to go. And if you fail, you can get back up and try again. And not many people are willing to do that. There are some people that uh, I know who are very outgoing. That I think that they would make awesome, like, you know, entrepreneurs or, like, uh, businessmen or women. And they don't do it because, like, they're just afraid of failing. They're afraid of looking bad. And, you know, like, there are some, like, we, we all have those friends that are very charismatic. They have they work, like, the simple life, like, say, like, a 9-to-5 job. And basically, they have, like, a big friend group and everything like that. And they're very, like, outgoing and stuff. But they, they are not willing to take that extra plunge to actually, like, better their life for the, like, better their life. Like, starting that side hustle they want to do or starting a business that idea that they had. And you end up asking why. Because this person, like, has, like, practically, like, you know, people skills. They have... A lot of stuff that you can't you admire about them because like you've seen what they're able to achieve and the and the thing of it is is that most people don't see it within themselves I sometimes don't see the potential that I'm capable of but I know I have to actually like work hard to actually well work smarter to actually put myself out there so that I can actually provide the meaningful life that I want to achieve for myself and I want you guys to have that same opportunity as well because your life matters. And when your life is actually forced upon you by responsibilities and like a job you don't like and you end up trapped there, you trap yourself. But it has to but you ha you guys have to take like some risk to to know what's good for your 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 body, your mind as well as your soul. But of course, the thing of it is, is that uh, we can't provide for everybody. And that's why like people are in, are stuck where they are. But it's up to you to tell your brain, to tell your mind, uh, how far are you going to go? I'm going to get this tile, guys, because there's only two left and I don't think anyone's going to throw it out. I mean, if I draw it, that would be nice. I'm more worried about dealing into this person's tile. Uh, so that means I'm going to be in third place this time, guys. But at least I'm in third. So it's not bad. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. Like, you know, I can't get first place all the time, but I still strive to actually try to get first place in, like, these games. And sometimes I get first place and sometimes I don't. But the point is, guys, is that the Great Horizon is not the goal. The Great Horizon is the journey. And I want you guys to acknowledge the fact that the journey's there and you will have some turbulent times during that journey. I know I will have turbulent times when I basically go to work every day and I basically have to keep my mind out of that negative space. Okay, so let me just get back to my main screen here. Okay, so the main screen is actually also changed a little bit, but I'm probably not going to keep it like this for long because uh, I actually like will change the background eventually. Uh, I don't, I can't tell you guys when yet until uh, I communicate back with uh, 
the person that I'm communicating to actually design the new stuff that uh, I have planned for you guys, not only on Twitch, but also a little bit on YouTube as well, because it's going to affect uh, how the screen looks. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Anyway, if you like what you saw, consider hitting a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of my latest videos. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And also, the big announcement I have for you guys on the Twitch streams. So, the Twitch streams, I have decided to stream three times a week. So, I will be streaming Eastern Standard Time, Monday from 6 to 9 o'clock, Wednesday 6 to 9 o'clock, as well as Saturday, my regular time from 3 to 6. So, I hope to catch you guys more on the live streams because I'm starting to enjoy Twitch a lot more. And ever since I got to affiliate, I feel like... Oh, this is something that I can build up to, and I hope to see you guys there. And also, if you guys want to catch a game with me or any of my friends, or just talk live with us in general, or share your art, or share your ideas with us on the Discord server, please join us on the New Bridge Discord server, and we look forward to seeing you guys there. And, uh, yeah, so... It always makes me happy to see you guys, and it always makes me feel ener energized to actually be able to provide awesome content for you guys because i want you guys to live up to your best potential and despite whatever uh bumps you incur on the way just know that there's someone here who will always think that you're the best and you're doing your best to make yourself the best version of yourself and uh yeah so as i say in every video and live stream everyone is precious you're as precious as everyone else, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.